In this video of Oracle PLSQL, we will cover the loops. Basically, whenever we want some set of statements to execute iteratively, we can make use of any loops. For example, if we have multiple records in a table, so whenever we are fetching the data, we are getting one record at a time. So if I want to get multiple records, I can make a use of this loops for making the retrieval of complete data from a table. So here in PLSQL basically we have these three types of loop that is basic loop, for loop and while loop. So let's start the basic implementation of all these loops and see how they works. So let's start the implementation now. So here I'll start with the basic loop. For doing that, first of all, inside the declare block, I will declare some variables. Like here, I'm defining a variable i of type number with a particular size. And in after that, we will start with the begin block. So here, I will initialize the value of i with 1. And just after that, I will start the loop body by using the loop keyword. So I'll not do much fancy thing here. I'll simply print the value like dbms underscore output dot put underscore line. And inside this, I will print the value of i, which is currently one. And later, I will keep on updating that where right after this. So here, I will update the value of i from its current value to the one. And after that, I can simply say exit when this is my exit condition which I can use so exit when i is equal to 10 so as soon as the value of i will become 10 it will be terminated the loop this loop will be terminated so rather than doing that I'll say when i is greater than 10 so that the value till 10 will be printed so after that I will end this loop body and loop and then I will end the main PLSQL block. Let's execute it. All right, so I'll have to set the environment again, like set server output on. So let's re-execute the statements, declare, assigning the value, beginning the loop, printing it, putting a condition, and then end. So now you can see i is getting printed like i 1 2 3 till 10 so as soon as the value becomes 10 the loop will be exited from this condition so this is how you can start writing a basic loop and inside this body you can do much technical things like putting some dml operations or retrieving some data now in case of while loop i will use while keyword along with the condition so the beginning will be same like first of all I'll declare a variable of number type and let's give a size of them I guess there is an extra space alright now let's say begin and first of all I will initialize the value of i again with some specific value like let's say 1 now I will use while keyword for using this while loop and just after that I'll pass a condition like while i is less than or equal to 10 and then after I will again use the loop keyword so basically when I was using a basic loop I pass the exit condition right at the end using exit when i is having any value but here this is the value which is a termination condition as well means as soon as the value of i will be more than 10 this loop will be terminated so again I'll just print the value inside like dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and then the value like i is equal to the concatenation and then the value of i and then after I'll have to update the current value of i so that it will increase one by one every time so i plus one and then end loop if you want to do anything outside the loop you can write those statements otherwise end the complete PLSQL block and just execute that and here you can see this loop got executed from 1 to 10 
if you want to pass these values in a particular condition of a select statement or you can perform uh, the insert statement in an iteration or any other DML operation you can simply start writing those statements inside this loop so now let's get started with the for loop as well which is much simpler in the syntax compared to the other loop as here we don't need to define the counter which we are using in the loop body for executing a loop so I can directly start with the begin keyword as I'm not going to define any other variable right here as I just want to execute my for loop so for starting a for loop I will use for keyword then the counter variable i which will take care of this loop execution and after that using the in keyword I will use the range like this like 1 dot dot 10 that means i will start from 1 till 10 so after that the loop keyword and inside this you can do whatever you want as just now I will I'll just print the value so dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and after this I will print the value of i as simple as that so like this I don't need to increment the value of i here because it will be automatically incremented by one once this loop will execute for a time for example it will start from the one once the first iteration is done the value of i will automatically be incremented by one and it will become two so that's why i don't need to make the increment here so i'll simply end this loop when i'm done with this and then i will terminate this complete PLSQL block and you can see the value of i got printed from 1 to 10 if I want I can execute this loop in reverse also by putting the reverse keyword right after this loop in keyword like for i in reverse 1 to 10 so this reverse will make this loop start from 10 till 9 8 7 and so on till i is 1 so let's try and execute it so now you can see i is 10 9 8 7 till 1 so this is how you can start working with the loops in the oracle plsql and you can do whatever the dml or data retrieval you want to do inside this iterational statements